Leadership is one of the most valuable skills in the world, and yet unfortunately, as you may know, there's a big difference between being in a position of leadership and being a truly effective leader. Great leaders don't just tell other people what to do. Instead, they focus on inspiring action and creating the right conditions for the achievement of important goals. So if you wanna become a more effective leader, these books can help. They cover essential topics, including how to motivate and inspire people to take action, how to strike the right balance in difficult situations, how to build a strong and effective work culture, how to set and communicate goals more effectively, and how to make better decisions as a leader. So let's quickly go through each of the books so that you can identify the ones that you feel are most interesting and most relevant to you. Beginning with Start With Why by Simon Sinek. Leaders often rely on subtle manipulations to get people to take action. For example, they might provide special bonuses to motivate employees, or they might offer deep discounts to entice people to buy their products. But in either case, this approach can quickly turn into an expectation, resulting in it becoming less and less effective over time. Start With Why by Simon Sinek is about how to inspire action by sharing the deeper purpose behind your organization. It's a powerful approach for unlocking the passion, persistence, and creativity of your team. And by sharing the same message with like-minded customers, you can transform them into loyal brand advocates. Next is The Dichotomy of Leadership by Jocko Willink and Leif Babin. Leadership often involves striking a balance between two different extremes. Some examples include confidence versus humility, working hard versus working smart, discipline versus creativity, and in some cases, leading versus following. So it can be challenging to identify the best course of action when either option has its pros and cons. The Dichotomy of Leadership by Jocko Willink and Leif Bass is about how to strike the right balance in difficult situations. It covers 12 principles divided into three categories, balancing your people, balancing the mission, and balancing yourself. Plus, it covers practical examples of how each principle can be applied in the real world. Up next, Leaders Eat Last by Simon Sinek. There are two kinds of threats or dangers that people face when working within an organization. First, there are outside dangers, including things like direct competition, alternative solutions, or market conditions. Then there are inside dangers, which include things like personal conflict, intimidation, or even in some cases, humiliation. Leaders Eat Last by Simon Sinek is about how great leaders build a strong culture by establishing a circle of safety within their organization. The goal is to minimize internal dangers so that individuals and teams can direct more of their energy towards external dangers. When done right, the organization is both more united and more effective. Next is Measure What Matters by John Doerr. As an organization grows, it can become challenging for leaders to establish and communicate strategic goals. Unfortunately, increased size often leads to increased bureaucracy, and as a result, progress can slow to a crawl as teams struggle to identify and act on the most important tasks or opportunities. Measure What Matters by John Doerr is about how to use objectives and key results, or OKRs, to set and communicate goals more effectively. It's a proven approach used by Google, Slack, Disney, Spotify, and others. It can help your organization become more effective by boosting transparency, accountability, and collaboration. Last on the list, The Infinite Game by Simon Sinek. 
Some leaders approach business as if it's a fixed game that can be definitively won or lost. They identify other brands as their adversaries, they select common metrics on which to compete, and then they set out to beat the competition. But of course, unlike a game of baseball or football, business competition doesn't have a clear beginning or end point. The Infinite Game by Simon Sinek is about how to build a stronger business by focusing on the big picture. It explains that leaders who maintain an infinite mindset are less prone to aiming for short-term wins that can weaken their organization and instead are more likely to make long-term decisions that can strengthen their position over time. So those are five of the best leadership books that you can read if you're interested in learning more about business, I do have reading lists that cover my favorite books on topics like management, business strategy, marketing, startups, productivity, and other helpful topics, and I'll link those up for you in the episode description box. But that's it for this list. If you have any questions or comments about anything that we covered here, let me know in the comment section, and be sure to subscribe and visit rickkettner.com to learn more about the best business books for entrepreneurs.